Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Vigo Man here, and welcome back today to a brand new series where we will be building a castle. Currently, we're just starting off by like, making a layout for this whole castle here for today's episode, and then we're gonna start doing some proper building later on. Here, you can see a small plan that I have created for this map. There are several different buildings and it will be kind of a small community living up here. Starting off with the gate house here, laying down the layout here, you can see I've added some holes for uh, death holes and stuff like that. And we also have some slits for the gates and things like that. Then we're moving on to the black switch which will be on the left side of the gate house here. It's in the black area right here. And then we're going to start off with building a small tower here in this pink here and I want to try to challenge myself a little bit with this project here we're going to try to do a lot of diagonal buildings a lot of buildings on off angles that's not really common and it's really going to be a challenge for us to do that properly so i'm really looking forward to that and my goal for this series is to evolve as a builder therefore there's a lot of new challenges that we'll have to face in this one and uh, this series is not a, a, like a change for the Kirkholm series, we're still gonna make that Kirkholm series going as usual. Uh, this will just be another project, a side project that I want to use a little bit of time off camera and then I kind of show you what I've done in a third person timeless or like you're watching right now. This orange part, that is going to be the servant's place. This is where all the servants for this castle will live. And it's also gonna be like a stair tower on the corner right here, which is the brown one. Moving over to the other side here, we're going to start building the barracks. That will also be a diagonal building where it moves three to the side and then one forward. Uh, kind of a little bit of diagonal. And then we're going to start off by building a small tower next to this one. All of these towers are for defensive purposes. Uh, the, currently, the one we're currently building are all for defensive purposes. But we're going to build another tower for the maester and also another one for the royal family itself. Now, let's build a small kennel and a stable where we will keep all of the dogs and all of the horses next to this in the orange, right? Here, or like that. I'm using two thick walls somewhere and that is to make this whole area more defensive. The two thick walls are always facing outwards away from the castle itself and that is to protect the whole castle from intruders and enemies and stuff like that. Now we're building that big chapel here and uh, it's going to be a massive chapel and it's going to have a big focus on religion in this castle here uh, kind of making small layout where i want all the supported pillars to be so i get the correct size for this build right here um i'm going to continue to do that all over here like that we're going to go for a kind of a french chateau style for this uh, area here we're going to use a lot of inspiration from both Italy and France uh, using the style they've been using there, maybe a little bit of Roman as well, kind of creating our own style here. I'm really, really looking forward to that. In the front of the chapel there will be a big bell tower, which will also be used as a watchtower, one of the biggest towers of this castle here, because as I've said, uh, there's a big focus on religion in this castle here. And uh, the grey part here is just a small bridge over to another build here, uh, the orange one. And that's just so they can kind of move over there and they can also tra like, uh, trap that area so that the enemies can't get through that in case of someone getting through the main gatehouse. You can still block them off from reaching to the main throne room and reaching the royal families. Uh, building the feast hall right here in black. Also adding a little bit of uh, layout for where I want all of the columns and supports to be. So it's easier for me to resize it and make the size correctly. The red area here is the ballroom where we will be having all of our parties and uh, bringing all of our royal friends over for balls and stuff. I want to use a little bit of a bay window here as well facing outwards. Uh, you can kind of see that I'm working on it. And then we're going to have a diagonal building here as well. That will only be as some kind of castle wall just to protect it here. We're going to have some battlements on top of that and crenellations and stuff like that. That's something I want to keep around most of the town here or most of the castle. It's almost like a town slash a castle this thing and it's kind of interesting. But I want to have crenellations almost all the way around. Kind of implement that into all of the buildings make it really defensive but also look more or less like a town. 
uh, where there's just kind of walls around it as the buildings are integrated into the walls. I hope I do I make any, I do make any sense at all here. Uh, let's move over to the outer side here. We're gonna start building the great hall where the throne area will be and stuff like that. That's the black area here. As you can see, I'm still using uh, double walls here and I'm laying out a small layout for where I want all of the supports for the inner room to be. Just like that. And then we're gonna big, um, like make a big tower on the side here, a circular tower. I used a lot of time to get this shape right here. So hope it turns out cool, we might have to tweak it a little bit in the future here. So guys, what I want to ask you is to come up with name suggestion for this castle here. I'm really bad with that currently. I'm thinking about calling it Chateau d'Argon, which is French for the castle of silver. I think that is really cool and it kind of fits the style that I want to build this all in. Uh, so you can see that I'm building off this circle here. I think it turned out pretty cool And then I'm making the walls three blocks thick here because this will be a tall tower And it was kind of shrink as we reach the top here Now we're starting to build the royal house. This is where the royal men will live uh, They will also live in the tower is kind of a connected build here This orient part is the main royal house This royal house will also be connected to a smaller tower and then also be connected over to the Maester's uh, tower. You can see we're gonna have a small battlement, small castle wall, and then we're gonna have a big Maester tower right here, built in pink. This Maester's tower will be really fun to build because there's a lot of interior we can work with here. And then we're gonna have really cool details to make it almost look like a little bit of a witch tower, and uh, make it really, really interesting. Now guys, that is pretty much all there is for this. We're building a little bit more castle wall along the sides here and another few houses like that. It's starting to look really, really cool and I'm super stoked. Hope you guys are stoked as well. So if you want to get the next episode of this where we're building, you have to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, be sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman and I'm out.